Hello my friends, and I'm proud to announce she's back! Crazy Jasmine's back in the house. And I don't mind telling you, I missed her. She managed to hold her temper for, ooh, about two whole days. But she's back to being the crazy Panamanian. And the way I see it, she's in the right. Yes, this video is going to go over the whole fallout from Gino's Splendor Babies. I hesitate to call them sugar babies because I'm not too sure about Gino's pockets. And also Gino sending topless shots of Jasmine to one of his exes. Hopefully Gino's gonna get what's coming to him. Don't worry if Jasmine doesn't give it to him, the eBird's got you covered. And guys, we finally see it. That scene the producers have been running all season. I can't believe it Gino, you broke my heart. And I gotta tell you, I thought it was gonna be as a result of some sort of psychotic drama fueled snooping on Jasmine's behalf, but no, everything came directly to her. For once she was entirely innocent. So as usual, I'm gonna give you a full breakdown of what happened on the show, but I'm also gonna talk about what's been happening on social media. It's very interesting. But just before I do, I wanna say thank you to everyone that subscribed to me. Please, if you haven't yet, come on, join the family, it's fun over here. Press that big red button, mark subscribe, and make eBird a very happy eBird. And also, if you enjoy my content, please don't forget to smash the like button. Right, so without further ado, I give you Gino and Jasmine. So we pick up with this story, with Jasmine asking Gino, did you send my naked pictures to your ex-girlfriend? And Gino said, no, I didn't, absolutely not. Now, I had to think about this for a minute because for all of us who know, yes you did Gino, denying it seemed like the strategy of a twat. And of course, by definition, it is. However, he was probably banking on the fact that this sugar baby actually hadn't saved the proof and that she was just telling Jasmine she'd seen her nudes. And so of course, Gino sought to deny it. Until of course, there was incontrovertible evidence to the contrary. And of course, said incontrovertible evidence came to bite him in the ass because Jasmine said, I've seen the picture and the only person I sent this picture to is you, Gino. And at this point, I think that Jasmine was regretting not taking him to Guantanamo Bay. It would of course been so much easier waterboarding the truth out of him. But guys, I want to stop for a moment and examine Gino's capability at lying. He's rubbish. He said, no. I didn't do that, that's for damn sure. Gino, you don't even talk like that. <laughs> he really is a clown. And of course then Jasmine said, explain how she got a photo of me. And by this point she'd started crying and snivelling. And to be quite honest, I think she's done well to hold on to this since this morning. But what's this? Gino needs time to think. He's looking up and to the right, formulating what I know will be only but the crappiest of excuses. And then he said, yeah, I did send it to her, Gino, she bloody knows. She's got it on her phone. She's looking at it. She wants to know why. In fact, we all do. And after what seemed like a lifetime, Gino said, I was just rubbing it into her. Yeah, that's the reason, but it's the only time that I did it. And Jasmine said, I trusted you. I don't care. I don't believe you. And Gino tried to explain, I just wanted to say, look how hot my new girlfriend is. That's all. And Jasmine decided to do a runner. And production were hot on her heels, but they made sure that they stayed just far enough back so they could get the whole of Jasmine's ass in the shot. She was wearing a thong and I gotta say she's extremely body confident, as well she should be. She had a thong on and just I think some sort of sheer coverall, I guess cover F all. And literally you could see everything. You could tell production thought this was their money shot because they didn't cease taking the shot all episode. And so Jasmine runs away and she sits on a step somewhere. And she's thumbing through screenshot after screenshot and she's crying and I honestly do feel very sorry for her. Her trust has been betrayed in possibly one of the worst ways possible. But guys, somehow, just somehow, this shit gets worse. Guys, in addition to Gino sending these topless photos of her to his ex, he was also basically disparaging her to his ex via text. He was saying she's super jealous and super crazy. If I mention any of my ex-girlfriends, she goes absolutely mad. And then later on he was saying... Yeah, she's gone to sleep. She's laying next to me, lol. So he's having conversations with his ex sugar baby whilst he's in Panama, in bed with Jasmine. Gino, what's wrong with you? I guarantee you this, guys. I genuinely believe he still has feelings for his ex. Otherwise, there's just literally no point. You wanted to rub it in and say, ha, look who I'm going out with now. Why? You knew you were going to be on TV and you knew that she'd see soon enough. So why did you have to actually make contact via text? It wasn't as if she was never going to find out. And then the next time you see this couple, 
Jasmine's on her way back to the room to have another go at Gino. She says she wants to know why he did what he did. I can tell you, Jasmine, because he's a freaking idiot who fancies his ex-girlfriend still. Because he has no respect for you whatsoever. Because this relationship means very little to him and you're nothing but a joke. That's why. There, you've no need to go over now. And she asked him why did you text things that were so personal, not just the pictures. But she asked him about the actual text. And she said, you were texting behind my back. You were texting whilst I was asleep. And Gino said, oh, well, that was just a joke. <laughs> Hilarious, Gino. And Jasmine exclaimed, I am laughing out loud, it's a joke. And Jasmine said, I'm moving to a new room. I can't deal with this level of stupidity. You're a loser. And then she picked up her Christmas present. Guys, the all singing, all dancing electric toothbrush. And she opened the door and she threw it out into the bushes. And Gino said, what was that? Gino, you know very well what it was. It was her $20 Christmas present. But because they're so rare in Panama, nay, obsolete, it was quickly picked up by somebody who placed it in a box of feathers and then had it flown on private jet to the Museo de Ciencias Naturales, the Natural Science Museum, no less. Because, of course, Panamanians have never, ever seen an electric toothbrush. <laughs> Gino, I will never stop laughing at that toothbrush. It's the worst present I think I've ever heard of. But Jasmine didn't want to discuss the toothbrush. She shouted at Gino, you spend money on sugar babies. That's what you do. And then we cut to a shot of Jasmine with production. And she's showing them the text. And she's explaining, look, it says here, SBS, sugar babies. Now I'm paying 200 to $250 for my sugar babies. And Jasmine said, not only did he betray my trust, but these messages reveal a part of him that I find disgusting. And guys, she wastes no time in letting Gino know the same. And when she asked Gino about sugar babies, he simply said, I haven't been speaking to any sugar babies whilst I was with you. Uh, what? Permission to interject? Um, yes you were. You were not just speaking to them, you were sending them topless shots of Jasmine. But Jasmine said, I'm not interested in a man who wants sugar babies. It's fucking depressing. You're sick. I don't want to be with someone who has to pay for sex and company. Then the truth be told, I hear what she's saying. Nor would I, especially if they're not paying for my sex and my company. <laughs> I shouldn't laugh. It's not funny. I apologise. And then we have a very interesting exchange between Gino and production. And the production asked him, did you used to use sugar babies? And Gino said, um, well, I was looking for a long term relationship and normal dating sites weren't working out for me. What? Oh, guys, let me translate this for you. I was looking for a long-term relationship. Translation. I was looking for a shag. And the usual dating sites weren't working out for me. Translation. I'm 51 and I dress as if I'm homeless. No super hot girl that I'm interested in would want to sleep with me or even date me unless I paid. But that's not good enough for the producers. They want to clarify, are you a John? And they ask, did you pay girls to go on dates? And he said a couple of times, but they were just dinner dates. Did you just pay for dinner or did you pay them? And he clarified, he paid them. Gino, we weren't rained down in the last shower. Very, very few men pay girls just for dinner. And then he finishes off by saying, I then realised after a couple of dates that this perhaps wasn't the best way to find true love. Oh, Lord. <laughs> oh, I can't. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it's not enough that Gino thinks that Jasmine's a fool and that Gino thinks production are foolish. Gino thinks we're all bloody fools. Oh, Gino, you can fool some of the people all of the time. And you can fool all of the people some of the time. But you can't fool any of the people any of the time. You're adult. But by this point, Jasmine's really, really upset. She said, you've betrayed my trust. And I find men like you disgusting. You take advantage of girls in a bad situation. And while she was saying all of this, Gino had kind of a, a weird half smile on his face. Kind of like he didn't take the whole thing that seriously. And obviously she was upset because he'd been texting whilst she was laying next to him. And she said, you talk about ex-girlfriends and you make me out to be this explosive Latina. Like I'm crazy. And Gino said, yeah, I shouldn't have done that. And the truth be told, his apology game is decidedly lacklustre. He just doesn't seem sorry. He seems sorry to have been caught. 
and as he sat there denying what he'd obviously done, I couldn't help but think that Juno was like a child, out past his bedtime. But she had a little bit more flame for his ass before she decided to leave, and she said, I can accept poverty. I would rather have three, four, five, six, seven jobs rather than do this sort of thing. But if I was, and look at me, I could. If I was going to have a sugar daddy, I would have the sugar daddy of all sugar daddies, not a lonely and depressing old man from Michigan. Whew. Now that was a read. And she said, thank God I was taking birth control. Can you imagine if I got pregnant now? Can you imagine me having a child with you? And then finally she said, I hate you because you broke my heart. But don't worry about me, Gino, because the good ones will always succeed, believe it or not. My time will come. And with that, she slammed her way out of the apartment for the final time. And that's where we leave the couple for this week. So what does the earbud make to all of this? Well, as far as I'm concerned, Gino's finished. You can tell by the way that Jasmine looked at him and the way she spoke about him and to him. She's absolutely disgusted. She doesn't want to go out with a John. And Gino has well and truly screwed the pooch. And now that she realises that Gino spends his spare time licking his chops at strippers, Jasmine's over and out. And I don't blame her. Now you guys will remember last week when I said this Lindsay girl, who's the ex-sugar baby, was embarrassed and she didn't want any promotion. Or she didn't want to have her name attached to Gino in any way. Well guys, this is her. And one quick look over her Instagram tells me she's interviewing with all the normal 90 Day Fiancé gossip sites and blogs and so on. And the truth be told, I knew it anyway. If she'd have really wanted to keep a low profile, she would never have responded to Jasmine in the first place. And even after that, even after production called her, she definitely wouldn't have gone to Reddit to tell her side of the story. And I think looking at her, I was exactly right. When I said Gino was still either in love with her or still wanted something with her. And he said that he sent Jasmine's pictures to her as a flex, as a weird kind of flex. You know, to rub her face in it. What are you rubbing this girl's face in, Gino? Tell me, tell us all. So like I said, I think it's because he still fancies her. He continues to have an interest in Lindsay. And so Jasmine and Gino have obviously split up. What happened to Jasmine? Well, since the show aired, apparently... She's been fired from her job as a teacher because her topless shots showed up everywhere. And according to Jasmine, Lindsay sent the pictures to her school and also she sent them all around the internet. Wow, just wow, what kind of person does that? And on Jasmine's Instagram this week, she said, I've cried enough. I've been betrayed, bullied and made fun of. False accusations from a horrible person who just wants to get some fame. I forgive you. I'm not perfect, but my heart is pure and I won't contaminate my heart anymore. My tears already clean all the pain. I set myself free because at the end, good people always win. Just God knows all the pain, the tears and the melancholy. I won't let anyone else make me ever forget who I am. I'm a dreamer. I'm a good mother, sister, daughter, friend. I'm the tender hand who's always willing to help. The vegan weirdo from my family and a fearless, scared woman who still wants to see the good on people. And she announced she was taking a little break from Instagram during this difficult time. But then I thought to myself, Jasmine, this was filmed about a year ago. There is no difficult time now. Surely you're over it. So I had a quick nosy around the internet and guess what I find? Jasmine's got her own OnlyFans. And apparently I haven't paid. It's fairly X-rated. And then I thought, I wonder if Lindsay's responded. Lo and behold, oh yes, she has. A certain someone's out here claiming that I sent their pics to their work to get them fired when I have no clue where they work, if they even do. I also bullied her child, because that's what I do, bully little kids, lol. He is a creep and that's the end of the story. Anything these two make up to hide the fact is just BS. I'll be anxiously waiting for these legal proceedings from Panama. So obviously Lindsay is fully denying things. I actually don't think that she sent the pictures to Jasmine's school. That would be quite malicious. I think it's more likely that either Lindsay sent it to one of her friends and then they've sent them around or Gino has sent it to one of his friends or somebody that he knows to show off. And once things find their way to the internet, the kids at wherever she teaches are going to download them and be passing them around. It's very, very simple, I think. I think really the main culprit is without doubt Gino. She's saying, oh, Lindsay sent these pictures to my school. She would never have had the pictures if not for Gino. But my feelings overall are that Jasmine dodged a bullet. Oh my God. Girls, guys, be careful out here on these internet streets. You don't know who you're meeting. Gino claims he just wants to settle down with a nice girl and have kids. Gino wants to go out with an OnlyFans model or an Insta girl. Gino wants a girl way hotter than his pocket 
all his looks will actually bag him and that's why he's paying. Even though Jasmine is quite crazy, I do think one thing, I do believe now that Gino was continually bringing up his ex-girlfriends, saying how fit they were and just bringing up his past experiences and I think that's why Jasmine absolutely went wild. It's quite noteworthy that I've seen, and it's interesting to say, I found two different versions of the argument between Gino and Jasmine this week. On one of them, she grabbed his cap off. And then when I went to find it again to do this video, I have a completely different version. And this goes to show how mad or crazy we think somebody is. It's definitely in the hands of TLC producers. So guys, let me know what you think. Do you think Jasmine's been fired as a result of Lindsay grassing her up to her school? Or do you think it's mainly Gino's fault for putting the pictures out there in the first instance? And are you like I am? Very proud of Jasmine for standing by her morals and getting rid of Gino and moving on so quickly. Let me know in comments down below and I'll get on with my next video. Thank you guys so much for listening. Please, if you haven't done so yet, consider subscribing to my channel. And also smash that like button if you've enjoyed this video. You've been listening to eBird Online and I bid you good day.